I really gave this corner a custom uh, treatment. This is not necessary. You can just stick within two inches of the corner and uh, you'll probably be just fine. But uh, I decided to go crazy and lay this on thick because of the original problem of the original tape uh, cracking down the center. Uh, this house has had some settling and uh, you know even a new house brand new one will have some settling and this one's not even that old. So I layered on an extra thick um, layer and uh, hopefully that will have some effect at securing this corner going forward. I put four screws, one here, one here, one here, and one down here on both sides to try to brace it. Uh, so hopefully we won't have that problem again. Basically the house is uh, settling and then this wall's moving this way and this wall's moving this way. They kind of got pinched and buckled right here. And so about a half inch of it was actually bent in right here. So I puttied that in before I put my wall tape up. And then up here, it was starting to separate apart. Uh, it wasn't too bad, but I decided to dig it out more and pack some more uh, mud behind there. And then also uh, raise it up gradually to give it a little bit more, a little more bite. Um, of course, it's going to involve lots of sanding. Um, and that shouldn't be too bad. I got some cuts and scrapes from uh, the uh, the trowel knives I was using. It's really easy to cut yourself. Um, with those knives. Looks like the more expensive ones don't uh, have such sharp edges. But anyway, this is the last of the spackling that I'll do. And I was even careful down here to get this edge as right as possible before I pull the tape which I'll do tomorrow when this dries. This might take, you know, exactly 24 hours or more to, to dry. There's a vent here um, passing, you know, warm, dry air through here, but it's not a, a good idea either because you don't want this to get um, any help drying. You want it to dry on its own slowly so it doesn't get cracked. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Just got to sand, prime, and paint. And in this case, I called a guy and he wanted 185 bucks to do it. I was just curious what they would charge for it. I wasn't really going to hire someone. But $185 is probably not a bad deal. But I kind of can't stand paying someone else to do something for me. So There it is. It was a learning experience, and I gained a couple of tools in the process, saved myself money, gave myself something to do, and uh, I guess the important part here is you're going to have to find out where uh, your studs are. Hopefully they're real close, they are real close to this edge on this wall, but they were a little bit difficult to find on this wall. So just FYI, going forward, whoever may watch this someday, screw into your studs um, evenly spaced. This is an eight foot ceiling, I think. So you lock down these edges so they don't move so much. Now that could potentially move the problem down the road. Over here you might get like a crack in the wall, but if you have that kind of problem going on, you got some serious settling you should probably look into and head off before you try fixing the smaller problems.